All right, all right, guys. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to How to Speedrun Final Fantasy VII. This is going to be part three, where we are going over the wall market section, which includes the bar skip, as well as the apt preemptive manipulation that uses precise movement to be able to change the formation of a boss fight. Hope you guys enjoyed this section. Don't forget to leave your questions down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe and rate the video. All right, all right, wall market. So, start this quest off. We're gonna go into this right loading zone. Your goal is to talk to this guy right here. This guy. You can run all the way around and talk to him like I just did. Or you can get into a sort of specific spot right here that allows you to talk to him like this. Sometimes you can accidentally talk to the soldier or just waste your time talking to nobody. So it may or may not be faster you, for you to just run all the way around. But you can, you can talk to this guy from the left side if you're looking up. That's the key. You want to look up and not to the right. All right, so you, you get the thing from him. Or you, you just get the conversation with him. And then you go all the way to Don Corneo's mansion. And proceed this dialogue. Nothing fancy about this dialogue. You just talk. From here, you're going to go to the dress shop. Again, nothing fancy about this conversation. Then you move over into the materia shop. Nothing fancy about this one. And now you're gonna go to the restaurant. Something important about this restaurant. There is a specific dialogue choice you're gonna to wanna to take. Uh, you can mash through it first. Uh, the important thing is coming once you receive the food. Because you wanna say, it, it's all right. You know, if you do the other two options, you're not going to get the pharmacy coupon, which means you can't get picked by Don Corneo. So, there you go. Second one. It was all right. Gives us the pharmacy coupon, so we're going to go to the pharmacy now. It's conveniently down here. And then three dialogue boxes. One, two, three. And it's the third option. You're going to get the digestive medicine. And then you're going to continue south and go into the inn. You're going to sleep at the inn. And you're going to buy the 200 gil one. Okay, so once you've bought that, you want to return to the materia shop to uh, get the diamond tiara. All right, so diamond tiara. And now we are going to do the bar skip. This is a trick that can actually soft lock the game. So... Use it at your own risk. Incorporate it uh, whenever you want, you know. Alternatively, you can just handle the two conversations separately in this room. Uh, you know, it does waste time, but also you won't soft lock the game. So, let's go with the bar skip. So, our goal here is to handle the conversation with the dress owner here. And also, the conversation here with the person in the bathroom so that we can get the sexy cologne. And... There's a cool property of this room where, you know, normally if you talk to someone, you can't move. You know, you can't move. But cool thing about this room is it has a door where once you open it, you sort of have this dialogue box and you can take it with you wherever, which sort of allows you to break the game. And that's what allows us to handle both these conversations at the same time. So you run in. You grab the text box from the door, you come back, and you start this conversation here with the dress owner. Once, once you start it, you're gonna move over here, and then close this door. Once you have the door closed, you're gonna page through these options until you reach. The, so that was the cute dress that I wanted for him. This is the last box that you are going to close before you reopen the door. So you close it and then it says, oh, a tough looking guy like that. With this one, you're gonna reopen the door. And then from here, you go down and you talk to, to this guy right here. This, this first guy. Uh, what I like to do is I also like to release run sometimes. 
Like once I once I talk to him because sometimes if I'm too quick and I run into him and try to talk to him The dialogue actually doesn't connect because I'm not like close enough to him So I'll like run in and like release run which will allow me to fidget like closer sometimes But anyways You do that you talk and then from here you, you only talk once to him and from here, you're going to page through a certain amount, but you're going to mash consistently for a bit. Let me see which one it lands on, because I'm actually not entirely... I don't entirely remember which one it is, but this is what it looks like. Do you mash? Like that. You're going to have give her medicine, and then you'll do it for us. Again, so it looks like this. When you're going to be talking again to the person in the bathroom, this is what your mashing looks like. And then you you get it so both of these are on the same screen. Give her medicine, and then you'll do it uh, for us. From here, you're gonna give her the medicine, and then run away. You're gonna run this way, and then it's imperative that both of these dialog boxes are on screen. This one closest to me on the bottom was there first and then the one on the top showed afterwards You need both of those to be on the screen if you don't you've messed up so You put both those through and then you get to the dress dress options from here, which is the bottom two Very important thing here both dialog boxes have finished close both of them and then from here, you actually do not, you do not want to close this dialogue box. You want to just leave and you're good. Because if you do close this dialogue box, what happens is because you've received the sexy cologne and you're normally right here, like you're normally right here, um, it wants to move Cloud like right here to move him out of the way so that the person can run through and leave the bathroom. But since you're over here, Cloud is infinitely going to try to move to that spot, which looks like this. And you have soft locked your game and you are stuck here forever. But yeah, so bar skip, doing it fast. You do have to wait for certain dialogue boxes to populate, but there are ways you can kind of trim the dialogue conversations as you're traversing across the room so as you're starting out you're kind of going to want to be more safe with how you handle your movement and your dialogue options but as you get more and more comfortable with the skip you can sort of min max how you're paging the dialogue so this is what a top level bar skip looks like if i can not choke so you would close a dialogue here and then close the door and then remove these boxes. Face up, open, talk, page. Close this as soon as I can. Down, down, move, that. Because again, you don't like, you don't want to leave the dialogue box on screen for super long but you want to make sure that they are fully populated so they will actually close and you don't attempt to close it early. Oh, and I guess I should say the closing the door is done by just running away from it. Like, you walk into it and then you face away. Just like that. What a tough looking guy like that. Open the door, talk once, page the dialogue. These two, give her medicine, let them both on there. Page, down, down, move both of them on there. Close, keep this box open, leave. Bar skip. Again, it, it's just something you gotta do a few times and then once, once you get it, you got it. And from here, you're gonna return to the dress shop. Realize you need the wig. Let's go do some squats so we can get the wig. Nothing real fancy here with squats, you know, just win. And then don't tie. Very important here, there's gonna be two dialogue choices you have here. 
you're gonna want to pick the second one so like you you get two dialogue boxes here that show the playstation buttons after the second one bottom option and then you're gonna get like three dialogue boxes here and then this big one you're gonna say you don't need any practice if you press a little you're gonna waste like 35 seconds and it really sucks but all right so don't need to practice start just square x circle over and over you guys know the drill all right so we've won and from here we're gonna go back to the dress shop we're gonna get dressed And again, this is uh, pretty much just dialogue. There is one item we need to pick up, though. Uh, we are going to be grabbing an ether from the basement. I'm gonna grab the ether and then talk to Tifa. And then we get picked. All right, so one thing that I don't do, but if you find yourself a tiny bit short on cash, on Gil, uh, Don does have a hyper behind his bed that you can sell. I'm not going to be doing it, though, because it sort of messes up the way that my uh, items are arranged in my menu. But you can do it if you want, if you need some extra money. And then here with Don, you're going to do second option for both of his uh, both of his choices. Then you just page through dialogue. And then in this final, final three choice box, it's just first one. Go and do it. So now we are going to be in the sewers and we are going to be talking about preemptive apps. So if you remember, the last hostile zones that we really had were back in Reactor 1, where we set up the manipulation to do the preemptive encounter against this boss fight. That manipulation is going to continue into here, where right off the rip, you're going to hold run, and you're going to go right, right until you bonk, and then left until you bonk, and then you're going to hold R1, and you're going to go right, bonk, left, bonk, right, bonk. Talk to Tifa. Hold run and then only up until you bonk. And then talk to Eris. And then if done correctly, hopefully everything's fine on emulator. This should be a preemptive encounter. And you'll be able to tell by the ATB bars right out the gate. Yes. So since we have these time bars already filled all the way, we are we know we're good on manipulation and boss is facing the wrong way and this allows us to do a couple different things um you know like i said we get the three first turns here but we also get to q cloud's limit break and because apps until apps gets a move it is still considered turned around even though it's going to turn around after the first grenade it's considered to be turned around until apps itself get, gets a move so your braver is actually going to do double damage which will save you know more than a couple grenades and that is that's really nice that's why like if you're not doing preemptive apps it's probably in your best interest to grab the ether in sector seven and just buy a couple more grenades you know leave yourself enough money to handle the stuff in wall market that's about like 330 gil if i'm not mistaken but or 320 i think it's 330 but yeah so if you're not doing preemptive apps Grab the ether. This allows you to save grenades. Um, but yeah. So again, this is what that's gonna look like. Come down. I'm already holding right. Bonk. Left bonk. R1. Right. Left. Right. Talk. And then up. Talk. Alright. And so this fight, literally what you're gonna do is you are going to just buffer grenades because yeah that that's what you can do now is because we sold potions which were the first item in our inventory and then we bought grenades right after that has made it so grenades are the first thing in our item slot and if you just hold circle and up it's gonna you start on attack it's gonna wrap up and go into item which is on the bottom and since you're holding up in circle, it's going to select the top option in the item menu, which is grenades. So it allows you to uh, do these three grenades. And then I'm holding down in circle to go back and queuing the limit break. Just like that. 
and then holding up in circle again to rebuff her grenades. And then from here, you are just going to be holding circle. And then that's going to be finishing out the fight. And then Cloud should kill it. It should die here. But if you're braver... All right, so yes, we did. We killed there, but if you're braver was a low damage roll, you actually won't... You won't kill Apps. Apps will get a sewer tsunami, and then it will die from the sewer tsunami. Um, one thing I did want to go over is what if you are not doing preemptive Apps? Your strategy is actually going to slightly change. So I'm not going to go for preemptive Apps. I'm just going to talk and talk. I actually haven't done this in a minute, so bear with me while I re-remember this, but I did want to go over what happens if you don't have... Uh, preemptive apps. Alright, so in this case, there is a strat that revolves around Tifa getting a limit break to buffer an extra turn. We can't really do this with guard skip now because this is literally the first fight that Tifa has. So she's not gonna get a limit break in this fight anymore like we used to. But one thing that we can do that I believe still saves time is we can use Bolt with Cloud in order to delay apps for one turn. And so what I'm going to do is you can sort of try to go for first turn grenades. I wouldn't go for first turn grenades with Cloud because uh, you need Cloud for bolting. You can kind of do it if it's really close, but personally, I don't think it's worth going for. You're going to want Cloud available to Bolt. But you want him to bolt last. So I'm going to Q with Aerith. Grenade. Grenade with Tifa. And then bolt with Cloud. This is because since Cloud is going last, it will start delaying. It'll delay apps further into this turn selection, which should allow Aerith and Tifa to get extra grenades off. And then I want to see something. And then does Cloud get this grenade off? I don't think so. He doesn't. So what you actually want to do in this scenario is after you have bolted and reselected Aerith and Tifa and they get their grenades through, you want to do a limit with Cloud so Cloud can get this Braver in before Apps gets another turn. Just like that. And then just grenade from here. So let's see, he gets one sewer tsunami. He will get another sewer tsunami. Oh wait, no he won't, okay. So yeah, that, that is what you wanna do in the case of not, not getting preemptive apps. All right, so yeah, just go for the first turn with Aerith here, cause why not? Okay, didn't get it. Okay, grenade, grenade, bolt. And then again, since you're bolting, it will be delaying apps, which will allow Eris and Tifa to get another turn in. And then you're going to want to braver while their turns are going so you can squeeze this turn in before apps gets another turn. Cool. Very cool. Alright, so that is apps, you know... We, we sort of spent a long time on this boss, but I did want to go through both strats on whether or not you were doing preemptive or not. 